most gratifying thing for me is just you know, we completed the season healthy, and um, we was able to come out of this long season with a lot, of, you know, a lot of injuries, and and we played through it, and our guys got through it, and now playoffs are here, and we have all all 15 guys healthy. So um, that's the most important thing to me, and to the organization, to our team. And um, with that being said, I feel very confident and comfortable that we you know, we got a good run in us. Back front, Tom. Tom Withers, if you had a Tristan come out of it. He was good. He wanted to play a little bit more, but I was like, he's, you know, you you play you played great, and you know, he was able to catch the ball and you know, finish around the rim and get some offensive rebounds. So um, for now, it was really good. So I'm glad we got out of that game, you know, without him reactivating it at all. So that's, that's good. And the anticipation he'll play with that brace during the playoffs. Huh? Yes, sir. Okay. And what'd you think of the, the new big fella? Uh, he was good. You know, um, he had the most blocks in ten years, I guess it was, for the Cavs. So. Um, I don't know if the Cavs been playing small ball all this time <laughs> or, or what's been going on, but I mean, just to you know have his first first day in and you know to play you know 24 straight minutes as a big guy like that, usually they get winded and get tired, but you know he had great stamina. I was able to block some shots and just be a big presence down low, and he also made some good moves offensively. Yeah, Griff said it's you know impossible to say whether he'd get into a playoff game or not, but what value does he have just being in practices because? Those are at least going to be more competitive. Well, you know, trying to shoot the ball over here. <laughs> I mean, yeah. if you can get over his size and his length, you know, um, you can get it over pretty much anyone. So um, he's going to help us with practices and some different things. Not too, not too intense, you know, not too many intense practices during the playoffs, but he's going to help us out. Second one, Joe. Joe Barney from Duck.com. The Pacers won, so that's that's who you have um, this this weekend. Uh, you had that. What are your initial thoughts about having seen them in the first round? Well, you know, the world coach, Coach McMillan, did a great job second half of the season of, you know, figuring out his team and, you know, who he wanted to play and what lineups. And, and they've been playing well. And um, you know, with Paul George, you know, coming off pin downs and trying to run LeBron around off catch and shoots because, you know, he can't post LeBron or it's hard to go one on one. So he did, he ran LeBron around a lot. So we got to be prepared for that. Um, also, with T being, you know, a fast guard who can get downhill, put a lot of pressure on you, get into the paint. So um, those are two things that you know we got to be better at. We got to be good at going into the playoffs. Do you think? I mean, because we've been talking to you all day, and I mean, you've expressed a lot of confidence in, in your guys going going forward in the playoffs. But do, do you think that there is a that there has been um, the idea that, that this team is somewhat vulnerable introduced at least into the locker room, and that that may be something that um, catch their attention in the playoffs? I don't think so. Um, I don't know what you mean by vulnerable in the locker room, but uh, no, the, the, you're, the idea that you are vulnerable has been introduced into the locker room, like among your players, that oh. hey, you guys could lose just based on how rough the, the regular season has been. Well, I mean, I'm not going to the playoffs thinking that. You know, I'm going into it thinking we can win, and um, that's my job to make sure everybody in the locker room understands that we're going to win. And um, you know, that's on me. But I'm pretty sure a lot of the guys in the, in the locker room feel the same way. So. You know, we had a tough regular season, you know, but, you know, we went 82-0 and lost the first round, and you'd be right about that. So it's always something for you guys to write about. So, you know, like I said, going to the, to the playoffs, you know, being second seed right now, and um, everyone's healthy, I feel very confident in what we can do. Chris. Ty, Chris Fedor, Cleveland.com. Drift mentioned before the game how big of a voice Dante is in the locker room and how he felt like, you guys might have missed that during this season. You know Dante well. You've been around him. What is it about his voice that carries so much weight behind the scenes? Well, he hasn't always been this way. You know, <laughs> knowing him since he was younger, um, he was a know-it-all, and you know it was tough to tough to get things through to him. But you know, he's gotten older, and you know, he's gotten married, and you know, have kids, and he's he's a veteran now. He understands, and just you know, his positive energy off the bench is just keeping guys engaged, and you know, talking to guys on the bench. You know, when we have a little lull during the game trying to keep guys pumped up and you know when you put him in a game like tonight you know he hasn't been here you know he played well you know so um just having him around you know is good for us jason jason Lloyd, the athletic i'm just curious for you personally how much more involved are you going to be now in schemes and game plans and all that i mean obviously you're the head coach but when they're coming night after night after night <coughs> two as opposed to now when you have time to to vote to one team, how much more active and involved will you be in this in, in the scheme? I'm going to do the schemes, yes. Very involved. And and how is that different from the regular season? Well, the regular season, you just try to 
you know, putting the foundation. You can't change every single night and do something <coughs> different because you're playing different opponents, um, different point guards, different bigs, different two guards. So, you know, when you get a chance to play in the playoffs and lock into one team, and, you know, I've always been a guy that, you know, in the playoffs, they want to take away the, the team's best strength, you know, what they do well, take that away and make them beat you another way. Did, when you were with Doc, did you, were you the point man on a lot of that defensive stuff or did Doc take over from you in the postseason? I was. You were? Mm -hmm. So that's obviously something you have a lot of experience with and you're fairly comfortable with. <coughs> yes. Dave. Dave McBenner, ESPN. I know you like to pick your spots when you address the team or kind of get their attention. Um, do you have anything planned before opening tip of game one or whatever that is? Uh, maybe anything from last season you can draw upon uh, to get them primed and ready? Um, we're going to have a discussion tomorrow because we're going to have you know film work and we're going to have a, a little walkthrough. So. Um, I'll address the team tomorrow, yes. Yeah, will you draw on anything from last year, do you imagine, or, or focus more on, on this year? We'll we'll focus more on this year. Back to Joe. Uh, JR is slumping again. Um, I think he's seven of his last 36, 37, something like that, um, over these last four games, and, and those are all losses. It's, it's not all on him, but how um, concerned are you that, that he seems to have taken a step back after that little hot streak? Um, for me, he probably should be seven for 50. I think he turned on a lot of shots, you know, and trying to put the ball on the floor and make plays and just do what you do. You know, he's a great shooter. Um, you're not going to shoot the ball great every single night, and we know that. But, you know, the biggest thing for, you know, for us is, you know, defensively, you know, being able to, you know, put him on, on uh, Paul George some, you know, being able to put him on um, um, CJ Miles, who always kills us, you know. So, you know, he's got to be, be great defensively, and, you know, with or, out, with or without JR shot, we know we can score the basketball, but we got to be better defensively. And, um, you know, he, he's going to have a lot of responsibility, you know, going into the playoffs. So just his main focus is just defensively. Uh, we know he can make shots, and we know he can shoot the basketball. So that's not really a concern of mine. Back over to Chris, and then we'll finish up with all Ty, does it feel different this year going into the postseason <coughs> than it did last year? Um, you know what's crazy, Chris, is that um, – this season seemed like it went by faster than the one last year. <laughs> it seemed like it, it, you know, it was half a season for me, but it just felt like, man, like two years. You know, but this year went by fast. Um, I mean, the difference, you know, to me is we got some new pieces. You know, that um, we've been trying to integrate, you know, all year on and off. Um, had some key injuries this year that that set us back, but um, for the most part, you know, it's pretty much the same. I, I think the East has gotten better. You know, Toronto's gotten better. Boston's gotten better. You know, Indiana's playing good basketball. Um, the, the Bulls finally figured out what they're going to do and who they're going to be. Same thing with um, um, Milwaukee. So teams have gotten better, and um, that's just the bigger difference for me. It's going to be, you know, it's going to be a bigger, bigger challenge for us this year. All right, last one down, Marlon. Marlon, right now, our Akron Beacon Journal. Along those lines, but more personally, do you feel more calm or more, you know? about the playoffs and what's at stake, even though you're going to have to take on, you know, more game planning. Just how you feel about directing the team in year two of the playoffs. I feel good. You know, um, I did it last year, too, so it was the same thing. You know, um, when the playoffs came, I was, you know, hands-on with all the scouts and game planning and scheme. So, um, you know, it's a lot, but, you know, it's only, you know, two months in the season. So, um, if I had to do it all 82 games and then go through the playoffs, it would be a lot. So. Um, for me, you know, it's something I'm used to, and it's something that I have to do. And um, I mean, I, I feel comfortable doing it. All right. This is actually the last one. Sorry, your answer triggered another one. Do you think you're better? Do you think you, you, you mentioned all these other teams in the East that have gotten better? Do you think you've gotten better? I think we're good. Have you gotten better? I think we're good. 